were perfect, but now that I know you can't cook, I somehow feel closer to you. I'm not really a bad cook. No, it's just that her curiosity gets the better of her. What do you mean? Like one time, she tried to develop spicy chocolate, and another time it was candy pickles. New discoveries are only made when we question conventional wisdom. Perhaps it would be wiser to first question your sense of taste. Hmm. Maybe tonight's main course should be slow-roasted centurion. Sis, come on, calm down! Look at that! What do you think happened? The smell is coming from that box. Excuse me, what happened here? There were seafood gels in there, but they all got burnt up. Ah, seafood gels. That explains the fishy smell. You say they got burnt. How? An arsonist. Some punk's been lighting up the town. We finally managed to catch him, though. Wait, if you caught him, wouldn't that mean there's someone else? That bastard must have broken out of jail. What makes you so sure it's the same person? Whenever he sets something on fire, this strange bright light always appears. Same thing happened when these seafood gels went up in flames. I told him that dinky prison would never hold a huge guy like that. That's... horrible. We must put a stop to this arsonist before we leave. Well, we could, but... I'm surprised to hear this coming from you. You're usually all stay focused. We have to find the Centurion's cores and stuff. What's wrong with that? It's not as if we're in a hurry. But we have a job to do. I mean, maybe not you and I exactly, but Emil and Marta still have to locate the Centurion's course before Lloyd gets to them. Shouldn't we at least head to the harbor and find out when the next ship is leaving? The harbor. Oh, that's right. You can't swim, so... Fine, we'll go to the harbor. Rain really can't swim? Yep, she sinks like a lump of lead. It doesn't matter if it's an ocean or a stream, she hates water. She kind of tries to hide it, though. Lead, you say? I certainly wouldn't expect that to float. Right, that's why we sometimes call people who can't swim leadheads. Well, that explains it then. Who could hope to swim with a head that heavy? You think it's her head that causes her to sink? Doesn't it stand to reason? Plus, depending on where she would swim, the lead could contaminate the local supply of drinking water. Huh? I must admit my surprise. I would never have imagined rain to be made of metal. If that's the case, it might be possible to classify her as a new breed of monster. Well, she is like a monster when she's in ruin mode. Sorry, buddy. No ships are gonna be leaving port anytime soon. Why not? Well, you must have heard about that last fire we had. That arsonist must be on the loose again. If we shipped out now, he might escape by pretending to be one of the passengers. What are we supposed to do if we're in a hurry? We just had another fire, and you're in a hurry to leave town? Seems a little fishy to me. What did you say? Why don't you try saying that to my face, smart guy? What? If you're saying you're not, then... Then what? <laughs> I can't... Emil, stop it! I... <laughs> you can't go into Ratatosk mode here. Apologize to the guy. Uh, right. I'm very sorry. Uh, yeah, sure. 
So, back to the arsonist. Let's find him. Once we do, we can leave on the ship. Yeah, let's check out the jail first to see if we can find any clues. Yeah. What's wrong with me? Hey, Marta. Does a meal really go into ratatosk mode this often? Hmm. I don't think it used to happen quite so much. I wonder if there's something keeping him on edge. Maybe having my sister and me around all the time is stressing him out. I don't think that's it, but I'll ask him. Okay, thanks. Hmm. Excuse me, I was wondering if you could tell us anything about the escaped arsonist. Huh? The arsonist escaped? Don't be ridiculous. He's still there. See for yourself. Uh, he is. What's going on here? If the arsonist is still here, then the latest fire must have been started by someone else. Do you mind if we have a word with the criminal? Sure, but be careful. for you to see me like this. Is this a friend of yours? Yes, this is Regal Bryant. He was with us in the journey of world regeneration. He's also the president of the Lazareno Company. Lazareno? But they're huge! Why would their president be starting fires? So, Regal, tell us, what happened? To be honest, I don't really know myself. I was in town on business when I happened to meet a man named Berg, a gel maker who said he'd seen Lloyd. While we were speaking, I suddenly found myself engulfed by this strange light, and just like that, I blacked out. When I came to, the building was in flames and Berg was lying unconscious. I grabbed him and ran outside. Where you were arrested and blamed for all the fires. Exactly but I had nothing to do with any of it. Of course, we would never think you would. So you wouldn't know anything about the most recent fire? What? There was another fire? We're looking for the person that started it. Arson is one of the most cowardly crimes. If I could leave this prison, I would gladly join you in your search. The man you met, Berg, he didn't vouch for you? Unfortunately, he's still out cold. He may have inhaled a lot of smoke during the fire. Hey, Marta, do you think you might be able to use healing arts to help Berg? Hmm, I'm not sure, but it's worth a shot. Then let's go. If we can get him to wake up, maybe we can clear Regal's name. Good idea. Let's do that. Okay. I heard Berg was taken to his house. Please, do anything you can. Hey, Genus, could you tell me a little about Regal? Well, we got to know him when he traveled with us on the journey of world regeneration two years ago. He's the type of guy you can always depend on. And as president of the world-famous Lazareno Company, he's well-respected wherever he goes. But he was a prisoner the first time we met him, too. What? It almost seemed like he started to enjoy being locked up. I wish you were joking, but I think you might be onto something there. He's mentally exhausted. We have to do something, and quickly. 